LCM are the lowest common multiple and HCF the highest common factor. Now what are factors? Let me just give you factors in Jamaican terms. Factors are whole numbers that can and go into another whole number without leaving a remainder. So let us take 12 for example. I'm going to list all the factors of 12. An easy way to do it is to know that, listen, you must multiply a number to get it, right? To get 12. Whole number, so it will be 1 times 12. Ask yourself, can 2 go into 12? No, 2 can go into every even number. So. 2 times what give you 12? 2 times 6. Can 3 go into 12? And how many times? So that will be 3 times 4. Can 5 go into 12 without leaving a remainder? No. So therefore, 5 is not a factor. Let's just check 7. Can 7 go into 12 without leaving a remainder? No. So therefore, that is not a factor. So remember, factors are numbers that can go into it without leaving a remainder. That is the Jamaican term for it. I think some of these fancy terms are messing up you guys. Let's just look at 24. What are the factors of 24? 1 can go into 24. 1 is a factor of all numbers. 2 can go into because it's an even number. So it will be 2 times 12. 3 can go into there without leaving a remainder. But 3 times what? 3 times 8. Let us check 4. 4 times 6. 7? No. Hmm. 9? No, not without leaving a remainder. So therefore, if we can we can list the factors like this in the order. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, all right? Come again now, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Of course, all numbers can go into itself without leaving a remainder. And that's one time. All right, guys, let's go again. Let us look at 36. All the factors of 36. 1 times 36. 2 times what? Remember, 2 can go into every even number. So 2 times 18. Can 3 go in there? Remember, it's actually like we divide in. You know, 3 into that goes 12 times. Let us check 4. Yes, 4 nines, 36. All right, let us look at another number, 6. It will be 6 times 6. So when you're listing them now, because that's what you're carrying, the factors will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, then I go up now, 9, 12, and 18, and 36. So these are all the factors of 36. So I don't want you guys to be mixing up factors with what we're looking at next, which is multiples. All right, let's go. Now, multiples is like you're multiplying. You see it? Multiples. You see it? Multiply. So, let us look at multiples of 6. So, let us look now. 6 times 1 would be 6. 6 times 2 would be 12. 6 times 3 would be 18. 6 times, that would be 24. 6 times 5 would be 30, and 36. If you notice, what we, what is happening now is, there, is like you're adding 6 every time. Because remember, multiplication is repeat addition. So multiplying is really adding, adding. But you're doing it over and over. Let's just look at 7. 7 plus 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. Seven, 14 plus that would be 21. Plus 7 would be 28. 35, 42. I'm sure you guys get in the picture, right? Let us look at 8. 8 plus 8 would be 16. Plus 8 would be 24. Plus 8 would be 32. Plus 8 would be 40. You add 8 to 40, you get 48, and so on. So look at multiples. It's like we are multiplying. Now I'm going to show you how to find the lowest common multiple of any number. So look at multiple already. 
So we're gonna look at how we can find the lowest common multiple. Now let us see, let us start with a question. So find the L C M of two and three. No, this is so easy because it's like you take the numbers, two, put them in two separate lines. No, you're gonna go up by two. So you're gonna put all the multiples, right? Because you see it says it's a multiple. So it would be you can just put back the two, two, add two each time. That's how you find a multiple, right? Six, eight, ten, twelve. Let's just look at three now. Three, six, nine, twelve. Now guys, it's very important. You see the first number that comes in both lines, that is common, in both lines, common mean they are in both. That is the lowest common multiple. Let us examine them. We have two, no two is here. Four, no four is here. Six, hmm, there's a six here. So the lowest common multiple of two and three is six. You know, for your G set, you write, for your paper, write that is equal to six. And that should be your answer. And remember, this is very important when you are doing your fractions. All right, let us look at another one. This time, we look, this time we're gonna look at three numbers, not just two, but three numbers. So we're going to find the LCM of 3, 5, and 6. So we're going to find the LCM of 3, 5, and 6. Same procedure. 3, 5, 6. So we go up by 3. Each time we keep adding 3. As remember, it's a, that's what multiple means. It's like you're multiplying. Alright, let us examine this one now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Let us stop there. Let us check out the 6 now. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Now let us examine to see which number comes in all three first. 3, no. 6, no. 9, no. 12, no. There's no 12, 15, mm, 18, no, it's only in both this, but it must be in 30, all three. 30. So, 30, 30. so as you can see, it's 30. So therefore, 30 is the lowest common multiple of 3, 5, and 6. Very good, guys. All right, let us look at highest common factor, because students tend to mix up the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor, but I don't want my pep students to be doing that. So let us look at that. What is the HCF or the highest common factor? The highest common factor is the highest factor that is common to all. It's as simple as that. Man. So let's just say, find the highest common factor of 12 and 18. Now first, because we learned earlier how to do factors, we can actually do it. So we list all the factors of 12 and all the factors of 18. I you know how to get that, right? So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now list all the factors of 18. Of course, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now let us look at what is the highest number that is common to both. Is it 1? No. 2 is bigger than 1, but they are bigger. 3 is bigger. 4? No. 6 is the highest common factor. So the HCF is equal to 6. 